Hi guys, um, this video is going to be on mainly on the Predator GTOs. They're ultralight pellet. They're uh, 16.54 grain and 25 caliber. And I'm just for just for comparison, since they're similar in shape and design, is um, I'm going to use the JSB King Diablos 25.39 grains. Um, I'm going to shoot them side by side. I'm going to go out to 20 and 60 yards and shoot them just for a comparison and then I'll get some velocity numbers for you guys on the GTOs alright guys you can see they're a similar design pellet they're both a Diablo style pellet um, the Predator, Predator GTO is on the left the JSB is on the right As you can see the JSB has a little bit of a longer neck to it the heads are the same and then you got the skirts you guys can see the JSB in the right has a thinner skirt and it has a bigger or a shallower cup than the um, Predator Pilot Mag has a smaller, deeper cup. Okay, guys, I had to make sure we record this time. Got my dog stalking a squirrel. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it inside of that tree over there. It's right there. In the ground. There we go. There it is. Always tries to get them, but she never can. <laughs> I don't know why she thinks she can bark them out of the tree. She'd be a good hunting dog if she behaved out in the woods. <laughs> Alright, guys, review time. So, let's see what we got here. Okay guys, so the high was 1,034, low was 1,021, average was 1,028, extreme spread of 7, it's a standard deviation of 2, so I'd say it's pretty good. Alright guys, I'm shooting the FX Wildcat, um, I'm going to shoot the JSBs on the right and the Predator GTOs on the left. Right, those are JSPs, guys. Um, I haven't got a chance to shoot these off GTOs much, but I, I'm not sure how fast I shoot, but I know they shoot them, they make a little bit of crap. So I probably have to fly real fast.
I definitely feel a little more resistance from loading the GTOs. Um, what I'm going to do next, guys, I'm going to move the uh, camera and the target up to 60 yards. I'm going to do another shot. All right, guys, ignore this stuff up top. That was just me taking a cider. So when I zeroed my gun in the other day, I was having some pretty heavy winds. I just wanted to make sure it was still on. But on the right, JSBs. The left is the Predator GTOs. And this is at 20 yards. Um, what happened here on this one is I was using this as the aim point, and I was using two mil dots hold under. And I think on this shot here, I held three. So that was my fault. So you minus if you minus that one there, that's easily covered by a dime. And then the GTOs here, you can cover that with a dime as well. So and this is at 20 yards. Alright guys. So this is at 60 yards. JSB on the right. As you can see, you can just about cover it up with a quarter. So we're probably looking about an inch group at from center to center. And now the GTOs, about the same thing. So about it's like two, I think about two flyers down here to the left. But as you can see, it's about the same thing. Just about cover it up with a quarter. Minus those two flyers. Could have been me, could have been the wind. I have a wind blowing from my right to left. This was my uh, point of aim for both. But it's not too bad for something shooting 1,030 feet per second. It only weighs 16 grains. <laughs> 